Hi there, welcome to this video where I take a walk up the picturesque valley of Dovedale in Derbyshire. I haven't been to this location for many years, so I've come back today with a camera just to see what I can get and already I'm seeing lots of possibilities. I'm going to have a walk up a, a hill behind the camera now that's called Thorpe Cloud, but for the moment I'm going to spend some time down in the valley. I'm really looking forward to spending some time in this beautiful valley this morning and having you along with me. And remember what I always say, it's important, whatever you do, that you enjoy your photography. So while I'm still feeling fit, I'm going to have a wander up to the top of Thorpe Cloud and see what the views are like from the top. Hopefully my knees will hold out, um, we'll see when we get to the top. I think it's official that I'm either not fit or I'm getting older, or a mixture of both. But this, this climb is taking it out of me a bit. I've had to stop for a rest, take the jumper off, get my breath back, and then I'll start again. I think I'm over halfway though now. The, the walk's been fairly gentle so far, but it's got quite steep towards the end. So give myself a minute or two and then I'm back again. Whew. Well, I'm glad I've got to the top. Uh, it's worth the effort for the view, but unfortunately it's not very photographically friendly. Um, there's just a lot of hills in the distance and it doesn't make for a very good composition or a very interesting photograph. So um, I've got some drone footage, which is quite nice. So I'll have a wander back down to the valley, and perhaps take a few more shots down in Dovedale before I need to go. I've made it back down from the cloud down into the valley um, and so I'm hoping that I'll find some pictures down by the side of the river. Um, I should find something, it is quite busy today, there are a lot of people about, it's the summer holidays and I think people are just glad to get out after being locked down for so long. Um, so I'm going to have to pick the moments but I should find something. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell notifications. That way you'll stay up to date with all of my future content. Over 80% of the people that watch videos that I put out don't subscribe. So if that's you, go down below and click the button. It's got a bit windier, so I've had to put my jumper back on. But I have found an interesting composition here. There's a tree branch that's fallen off into the river and it's sat in front of a natural weir. Now the tree branch is quite large and it's getting some really nice sunlight falling onto it. 
to get an interesting angle, what I've had to do is stand in the river, but that's okay, it's quite shallow here. I've put several filters on the front of the camera. I've put on a neutral density two stop filter so I can slow the shutter speed down to drag the water out. And I've also put on a polarizer to cut down the reflections on the water. That's given me an F number of F13 on ISO 64. I've got a shutter speed of about a second. So I've moved along the bank a little to try and find a different angle on this weir, but I'm not really very happy with the composition I was getting. If you look at this picture here, you can see that it just feels like there's an element missing. I do like the foreground interest of the water and the patterns that that is creating, but that whole composition doesn't feel like it quite hangs together for me. So what I did was I moved the camera around a little bit and actually put it very low to the ground, which has made a lot more of the foreground interest. To do this, I had to splay the legs of the camera right out, and it's made the camera about six inches off the floor. But I think it makes for a much stronger composition. So it just goes to show, don't take the first composition that you find. People often take a picture from eye level and don't think about different heights and different positions. It just can make the composition much stronger with a little bit more effort and a little bit more experimentation. I have found another weir, but I just can't seem to make it work. I can't find an angle that I like. If you look at this picture here, uh, it just feels lacking. It doesn't feel very special. Um, um, maybe if I had more time, I may be able to work on it. I have tried some close-ups um, of the water, which I might try in mono to see if that works. But at the moment, I am going to wander back towards the car because I think there's one final location that I think might give us a really good image. At the moment I'm stood in the river. I have managed to get onto a bank of stones quite easily, um, but, but it's given me a really good view up the valley. Um, so I'm going to try a few locations to try and get the best shot, but just at the moment the sun's over there and it's creating some lovely light across the, the hills further down the valley. So this um, has got some promise. So I've tried a bit of an experimental shot. I've put the camera out in the middle of the river and set it very, very low. So I've spread the legs of the tripod and got it at a funny angle, but it's managed to get the camera only about six inches off the water. I found a rock that's quite interesting that I just borrowed from somewhere else and placed in an ideal location. And then to cover every single one of my bases, what I did is I exposure stacked and I focus stacked to make sure I've got lots of different options when I get back into the computer. All this with a 20mm lens on to give me a really nice wide angle of the valley. So we'll see what happens when we get it back in the computer, but I'm quite optimistic. So I've had a really interesting morning and I think I've got some good images to go home with as well. In hindsight, it probably was a mistake climbing up Thorpe Cloud because it did waste a lot of photography time that could have been better spent down in the valley. But if I'd have not gone up, then I probably would have wished that I had. So you can't really win. Now, there is lots more further down the valley that I didn't manage to get to today. Um, there's some interesting rock formations. So that's probably something that I can do in a further video. If you have enjoyed coming with me on my journey this morning, don't forget to click like, subscribe and the bell notifications. That way you won't miss out on any of my future releases. Watch out for next week's video. That goes live at four o'clock on Sunday. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe and I'll see you soon.
the picturesque valley of Dovedale in Derbyshire. Some sunlight. Really very happy with the composition I get. I'm getting back to my future releases and won't miss out on anything. That way you won't miss out on any of my further releases. Future further.